Hi, everybody. Um, if you guys have a cafe aroma like I do and um, you're having trouble with it, uh, in my case, I've had a pressure loss issue where I'll kind of, you know, I'll have this thing all heated up. I'll turn this on. Um, I will put it, I'll put this in, of course, and I'll turn this on and it goes. And then all of a sudden what happens is you get no pressure and nothing comes out of here and you don't get your coffee. That is extremely frustrating. And what I found is that it was a pressure loss issue in the system. Uh, it is not a matter of this guy getting blocked or cleaning that out. I mean, you can descale it, absolutely do so. That's always a good thing. You can clean this thing out, always a good thing also. Um, the other thing that you can do is go underneath here and clean that part out. In fact, why don't I show that to you right now? Just hang on there. Do it at an angle here. Yeah, there's this little part here that can potentially get clogged. So you'll need to come in here and unscrew this one screw here. Take this whole thing out and clean it out. And, um, you know, make sure the thing is all descaled, all that kind of thing. Uh, but that wasn't the problem for me because I cleaned the heck out of that and nothing happened. One of the problems was this gasket, which is right there. And you can see it. It's a silicone gasket. And that is the part that this guy here, you know, pushes up against as you insert and lock it. If that gas, sorry about that. If that gasket is broken or cracked anywhere, you will get a, you will register a pressure loss, um, and you will have yourself some trouble. So definitely, um, you can replace that gasket. I, I put in the uh, model number of the Breville Cafe Roma that I had. I found it on Amazon. All right, but that in fact wasn't that in fact wasn't what happened to me. And I'll show you what I did to find the problem. Now, in order to find and fix the pressure loss problem, all I needed was some very, very simple tools. Um, of course, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your unit is unplugged so you don't hurt yourself, because you are going to be opening this up completely, okay? It is not beyond your skills. You literally just need um, a star head or Phillips screwdriver like this and a little you know, plate of some kind where you can keep all the screws, okay? You're going to have five screws that you're going to need to remove from here. And I'll show you exactly where those are. So you're going to have two screws here. One, two. When you open up the top, oops, there is one little screw right there, okay? But that's not it. There's a couple more that you really need to get out. And you'll need to take this tray off to do it, to access it. Again, I'll do it at an angle. Now, there's a couple of screws that sit up in here, okay? And that is way up there. And so you'll need to get your screwdriver and just get way in there. And if, if it doesn't fit right away, you, might, you can push that a little bit, just kind of get up there, feel around until you get that screw, pull that out. The plastic thing can stay in there. Just get the screw. As long as it's disconnected, you'll feel it, right? Because um, it connects. It connects the unit up here, right? Once you've got those screws out, like I said, keep them secure here so that you can get to the innards and really tackle the pressure loss problem that, oopsie, that I discovered in my Cafe Roma. So you're going to take that off. Make sure you take your water container out as well. Okay, just put that aside. Make sure you're unplugged. And um, if you've been using this thing, just make sure that your heater block, it's called your thermocouple or what have you, is uh, really cooled off because you're gonna need to get right in there, okay? You should be able to touch it and not burn your fingers. So when your unit is cool enough and you've unplugged everything, you're gonna come to this part of the unit and um, what I'm gonna do is just temporarily disconnect the wire so you can have a better view at where I found the problem. Now, what I've done here is to just um, disconnect these two leads 
very, very carefully. Don't just reef on it with your fingers or with you know pliers or anything like that. This thing moves. You want to support that really well, okay? Hold that and get maybe a pair of needle nose pliers or even your fingers and very gently kind of pull it off and just support this. You don't want to wreck that circuit board, okay? And like I said, make sure you're unplugged. Don't want to get hurt. So what I found is that right down here at this spot right here, you know what, I'll use my screwdriver. You can see there was a twist tie right there, just like this one. But the problem was that the thing had become very, very weak. It was broken and snapped, and you can see this one has become very yellow. And it literally disintegrated in my hand as I tried to shimmy it off. And that is because of the heat from your heat block here, okay? That little twist tie was holding that tubing on and just got destroyed by the, uh, by the heat. So, what so if you turn that on and, you know, you're going to get pressure loss right there. Now, instead of getting another twist tie and just saying, you know what, I'll just put another one there, you're going to have the same problem. So I just took some really fine wire that I got from, um, you know, I had this from Christmas from putting up the garland on the banister. And I just put it around right in there and not too hard. I just started, I, I did a J-hook with the wire, put it in here, and I started twisting it with my needle nose pliers. But you don't want to do that too hard because, you know, you don't want to cut the wire. So just where it starts to pucker a little bit, you want to restore that, um, that pressure. And that's where my entire failure happened in my system. Check all your other zip ties down there too. So it seems that was the culprit um, of all my problems there. And when I put this back on and I reconnected the wires, everything started working perfectly again. Had a great cup of coffee with crema that I love so much and your unit will be working perfectly again. I hope that works out for you guys. I'm actually gonna send this um, solution to Breville as well, because I think it's just one of those one of those design flaws that it's really hard to um, uh, to foresee. So I'm just gonna send that off and hopefully they change the design. Maybe they have already in your unit, because mine's pretty old, as you can see. I do apologize for the, uh, for the appearance of my unit, but uh, we got this many years ago. In any case, if you have this, I hope this has helped you out. Um, enjoy your coffee.